He's a controversial figure whose exploration around Africa earned him fame and glory in the 19th century. But Henry Morton Stanley's success also made him, in some people's eyes, a symbol of violence. Today, as a statue of him was unveiled in his hometown of Denby, he still divides opinion. Kate Morgan reports. As they unveil a statue of one of the 19th century's most well-known explorers, this group in Denby are hoping to reveal a different side to H.M. Stanley. Stanley had nothing to be ashamed of. He overcame so much. His, his feats were wonderful. And uh, hopefully it is the start of um, people looking upon Stanley differently. Famous for finding the missionary David Livingstone, Stanley became known for writing gory tales of his travels, but he had much humbler beginnings. Spending most of his childhood in this former workhouse, he left Wales to be a journalist and became one of the most famous writers of the Victorian era. Some believe Stanley's brutal image was something he exaggerated to impress his readers. Virtually every explorer, and this includes Livingstone, on occasion killed people because the choice was kill or be killed. Um, and Stanley, unfortunately, because he'd been a reporter in the Indian Wars in, in, in America and had been told by his editor to exaggerate um, the blood and guts aspect of the Indian Wars, thought that he would sell books and sell newspapers by doing the same when he went to Africa. And just as Stanley travelled to their homeland, officials representing the Democratic Republic of Congo made the trip to his birthplace to see the unveiling. Thank you very much. It's taken two years and cost more than £30,000. Today, one of Denby's most famous sons, H.M. Stanley, returned to the town centre. Those here wanted to celebrate his life and work, but there are some who've opposed the memorial. Fifty people from all over the world signed a petition to stop the statue being made. They believe he doesn't deserve a monument here. It's almost as if there's an attempt in Britain now to, by some people to rewrite uh, the history of imperialism and to try and sort of redeem uh, the, what has happened in the past. Well, we think that's a huge mistake. But whether you view H.M. Stanley as a great explorer who overcame poverty to secure success or as a figure of imperialism when slavery was at its height, he will now always have a place in Denby.